Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode number 26 of Daryl20's Let's Play series. Uh, today, I'm tired of charging things manually with the wired charger, and I don't think there's a wireless charger that's part of Ender.io just yet. Uh, there's things called these things, but that's not what I'm looking for. Um, so Ender.io used to have a wireless charger that would wirelessly charge your stuff for you, which is cool, but I don't think that exists yet. So what we're going to do instead is take a look at Flux Networks today, because Flux Networks is super cool. Uh, very nice mod for wireless power transfer, right? Wired power is good, but sometimes you want to send your RF elsewhere. Uh, we could have used this when we did our lava-based uh, pump thing instead of doing a, a lava generator thing. But at this point, I think we're probably close to wanting to do flux networks. Now, how are we doing over here? Oh, great, actually. We should probably consider... Yeah, we're very close to filling up on stuff. Uh, so let's get another 4K drive. Actually, could I maybe consider... You know what I'm going to do? Get a 64k uh, deep storage drive, ME disk, deep item disk storage for dummies. That's me. Uh, if I got this, I'm thinking I might be able to get a lot of the junk off these disks and put them in here. Does that sound doable? And all it requires is a little bit of netherite, which we now have, right? An amethyst, which we also now have. So to get this, let's let's teach the system how to make all the things that I need you to make. Okay. Um, so I'd like you to know how to make this, and in order to make that, I need you to know how to make this, and in order to know how to make that, I need you to know how to make this, and in order to know how to make that, I need you to know how to make this, and in order to make that, and then we're gonna, we're gonna get, uh, the deep storage drive so that we don't have to worry too much about, uh, disks anymore, because I keep hitting that limit, and I keep saying to myself, I should make the deep storage thing, and now is a good time to do it, right? Mm, there's no time like the present, so let's do it. So if I wanted to make that 64K deep storage drive, what am I missing? Uh, I'm missing calculation and logic processors. Let's go ahead and teach them how to make those automatically for us. So if I got a pattern provider here, uh, that would be cool. And I wouldn't mind also knowing how to make acceleration cards. So I'm gonna teach you how to make those real fast. Boom and boom. And every time you have to make something and you know you're gonna need to make something, it's probably a really good idea to go ahead and automate it. Dyer's recommendation for you. Okay, uh, now how did we set this up? Uh, this guy was set up such that this was the extract on orange and then you filter in uh, there. Okay, so this is the input chest for items, right? So as I recall, um, and then you inserted things into here for me, right? Now, do you have a bunch of junk? You do have a bunch of junk. Um, that's fair. So let's, let's, let's exclude the junk that you already have a bunch of. And let's say that we wanted to get this thing, right? What we would want is a silicone, a redstone, and a gold. If I put that in here, it should bing, bang, boom that and stamp and stamp and be cool. Yeah, he's just slower because he doesn't have the accelerations yet. And then the output goes in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this output, boop, and we're going to move the output to uh, over here-ish, right? So I'm going to have an ME pattern provider but I don't want it to ever try to insert into this oak drawer. So I'm gonna change this. Do I wanna do this? No, I actually don't wanna do this. What I'm gonna do instead, yeah, I'm gonna, maybe I'll put it behind. Would behind be cool? Yeah, behind would be cool. I like that. So ME pattern provider here, okay. And um, then we're gonna to wanna to connect up some cabling and hopefully I'm not running into channel issues, but at some point we'll find out if I am. There, so now he should be online or he's missing a channel. He says missing channel, why are you missing channel? Are you truly out of channels over here? Yeah, cause you're tied into this guy, aren't you? No, you're tied into this guy who's only using a few. So you should not be missing channel. Where's that wire coming from? Where indeed is that wire coming from? I don't even remember how I wired this stuff. All right, you know what? So that's coming from the inscriber. So that actually is coming from the inscriber. Okay, that's why. So what I should consider doing is connecting 
this guy like so. So if I if I disconnected this cable here, where do you go? As a matter of fact. You go up to the charger. So you're just relaying power there? Okay, we can manage that another way probably too. So if we did that, okay. And then we teleported home and put away all the stuff I was magneting by mistake, along with this other junk. Uh, cool. So now you probably don't have power, but we could give you power like that. Now you have power, okay? Uh, and then we could tap tap into this line um, probably by just doing something like this-ish. And that would be cool. And if we wanted to, we could use facades to make that a little bit fancier. But now you should be device online. So you're using eight still. You're using three of eight. Cool. And you guys are all just power, so it doesn't... They're, you're, they're, they're not using... So they're only using power in there, and that's why we're not having channel problems. Um, but now you should be online, and that's cool. Good. And if I wanted to, I could throw a quick cable facade just to make that look a little bit cooler. Yeah, that looks pretty nice, right? I wish those worked with connected textures. That's my only wish. It's my only wish. Uh, but now we can get uh, cable nodes uh, from Laser.io. Boop. And we can link those two together. Bink. And then we can insert card this guy here. And then we can get rid of this chest. Okay. So now the practical upshot of all this is that when I insert my items into that chest, okay, they will automatically be inserted back into the return inventory for the ME pattern provider, right? So now, uh, say I wanted a Certus crystal and a silicon and a redstone, okay? We put those in there, right? And he'll make his thing, he'll make silicon. And then when he prints, he'll be inserted directly in there and we're done, cool? which means I can now put patterns in here that match those things. So what I would do is we would come in here and we would say AE circuits or whatever they're called, uh, these guys. But instead of saying printed logic circuit and silicon, right, we'll do silicon and gold. Okay. And then the same thing for, uh, what is it? Uh, they're called logic processors. So uh, let's get diamonds and Certus ready here, right? But now if we say uh, that's that pattern, let's get more patterns too. Can I get 30 of them? I can get 30 of them. Hooray, he's cooking. And I'm guessing there's a lot of this happening. Maybe not so much. Okay. So you'll be diamond redstone, and that'll be this processor. Okay. And then Certus redstone and silicon will be this processor. Right. And all three of these patterns can go into the ME pattern provider. I don't know why that's that. He should be saying chest. Adjacent to different machines, laser node or chest. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's fine. We can leave that as is. Um, that's fine. He should only be allowed to insert in the chest because the laser node shouldn't accept things that are not laser cards. Okay. Uh, so now, if we came over here and I said, hey, I want a 64K storage drive, you're just missing some glowstone. Really? I'm low on glowstone? That's a weird thing to be low on. Well, it's not a weird thing to go on. Um, I haven't really prioritized getting lots of glowstone, and I probably should get a little bit more. Also, I just used a bunch to make patterns, because patterns need glowstone. Oh, hey, we got a named dude over here. Max the Undoubtable. All right, Max, you and me? Oh, look at you shooting me with stuff. 
I can shoot things too, and I can snare you with it. Ha ha ha. Ow. Fire bad. Actually not. I forgot. I don't care about fire. Remember, uh, named dudes like this are gonna guarantee to drop something cool. I think. Yes, he dropped this thing. Max's Dwarven Diamond Curious of Iron. Sweet. So, it's a socketed fancy item. Uh, and then obviously I've got the auto-feeding thing going on, which is great too. So you go away, and you go away, and you go away, and these things go away, and I don't need this chest no more, and probably don't need those Fluix Gables anymore, and everybody's happy. So Glowstone is what I came here for. Um, let's get our mining laser. Did I forget my mining laser? May have forgotten my mining laser. May have forgotten my mining laser. And I forgot it because I did a whole bunch of mining between episodes and completely drained it out. Did I not forget my mining laser? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Uh, I knew I was charging it. And that's all good, right? Cool. I'm going to charge this thing up, too. I'm going to go mine the glowstone off camera, and then we'll come back and do the thing. I love long-range mining. Can we just talk about how great that is? I love ranged mining. Like, none of this, none of this nonsense. Just magnet it up while you're falling even. Who says, who says mining gadgets is OP? Not me. Right? Like, we're up here. Oh, look how far... That would be so annoying to have to pillar over to. Nope, I'll just vacuum it up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Loving it. I mean, my goal when I made mining gadgets was just to, to give you, like, another mining option. Because it's like, yeah, you know. Mining. It's definitely a part of Minecraft. But when I'm playing Minecraft, like, my goal is making cool contraptions, right? Like, I want to do... I want to play with neat mods. Like, going mining is just kind of like a... After a while, you're like, oh, I've done enough of this, right? So, might be enough glowstone for now. Yeah, I think that'll be enough glowstone for now. Very nice. All right, now you can make a 64K drive, right? Yes, you can. So all the auto-crafting will happen, right? Uh, do we have any more acceleration cards I could snag? I should probably consider making a few more of those. I should get, like... 20 of them? You're short on Fluix Crystals. That's a good point. We have yet to automate Fluix Crystals, and that's absolutely something that I should get around to automating. Uh, and that's going to be an in-world. Things drop into water and then vacuum up. So, uh, yeah, that's a good question. How do we want to automate that? Something fun, something cool. So I think all the crafting is done, which means the 64K deep storage disk is done. Now this should hold about 64,000 items, which should be cool. Now we have a bunch in here, right? All kinds of things. We don't have to worry about types with this disk. It'll just hold like 64,000 items, period, right? The next thing I wanna make is a drive, what's it called? Uh, so actually, can I get a couple acceleration cards? Can I get like 10? Nope, available two, missing eight. Um, how about just like one? Yes. So I can have two is what you're telling me. Yes. That's about eight. Uh, so let's get some... I'm going to manually craft some of these for now, and then we'll automate them in a moment. Cool. Um, I have a funny idea. Uh, I have a funny idea. No, not you. Uh, order block. <laughs> and then and then if it doesn't work, I'm going to tell Soren, Hey, Soren, it doesn't work. I found a bug. <laughs> that's what i'm gonna do to sword because he does it to me all the time he's like he finds like the most weird and outrageous edge case and then it doesn't work and he's like die i found a bug in your mod and i'm just like what who would do that like why would you ever do that and he's just like because he's soaring uh so yeah if this if this works it'll be hilarious if it doesn't work it'll be even more hilarious all right it doesn't work so now I get to submit a bug report. Why you no work? <laughs> All right, so I have to craft with regular water, like a, like a Neanderthal, but crafting complete. So now, hey, uh, accelerator cards, please. Like, like, like maybe, maybe 20 of them or so. That sounds cool. That sounds doable. So the main thing I want now is, um, there's a, there's a thing from a, the disc, no, not that one, not that one, not that one. What's, what's the block called? It'll let you dump all the items on a disc back into, uh, the MEIO port. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. So I want like one, two disc drives. 
no crafting CPU. I need more crafting CPUs. So this is why you need multiple crafting CPUs, so you can do more than one auto crafting at once. Because uh, we're currently waiting on that to finish. Let's actually get that to finish faster by doing this. Now you're cooking. See? All the betters. Awesome. Now I can do uh, you, you, you. And that's cool. Oh, I didn't mean to make three of them, but whatever. I do like that that auto updates like really quickly. That is awesome, actually. That is super cool. Okay, so the MEIO port, which hopefully I have the channels for over here, but I may not actually. How many channels are in use over here? Eight out of eight. Boo, I'm gonna need more channels. I really need to get my channels under control, but I've been really bad about getting my channels under control. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, deal with that. You know, I could probably clean up a little bit of wiring here, but once I get things going better, what I'm gonna do is just remove this for a minute, just so I get the channel available. So you come offline, right? That should free up a channel. And then over here, um, actually, you know what? I'll leave this here. This is only going to be a temporary setup anyway. But I should be able to connect this up, okay? And I want some acceleration cards in there because that'll be nice to have. But this is cool. The MEIO port will allow you to put a disk inside of it, and it'll empty all the contents of the disk and put them into the AE system. Conversely, you can take anything on in the AE system and put it onto whatever disk you put in there, right? But this is what I want to do. Um, move to output when empty. So if I put, if I take this disc out of here, right, it's got all these items on it still. I'm going to put my 64K drive in the first slot there, and I'm going to stick this disc in there. Boom. He immediately dumped all his junk right onto that drive. Okay. So now I can take all this stuff out, and what will be available is only the things inside my drawers, right, um, and auto craftables. So now, and, and the few things that were on here, right? So like if I take that out, it's literally just what's in the drawers, and that's it. So now I can just kind of like bing, bang, boom this. And these disk drives are all empty now. Okay, look at that, all empty. And literally everything that was on all those drives is on here, and this is only like an eighth full. How cool is that? Um, and then I can, I think it's either this or I shift click these, right? Boop. And I'll get my 4K component back out. So now I don't need those 4K components. Cool. Now we've got eight 4K components. I can ask for another 64K drive, right? We're missing the netherite for it, but other than that, no big deal. And I definitely have enough netherite that I can make two of these, right? Goodness gracious. Uh, netherite ingots. And we determined an episode or two back that doing it this way is just fine. Okay. So now if I want another 64K deep storage disk, now I should have the capability to store items in my AE system for the long haul. And this should not be a big deal. Cool. So once all this crafting is complete, which won't take long because of the speed upgrades we put downstairs now, uh, we should be cool with this. All right. And then we can get into flux networks. Sound like a plan? I like it. I like it. Loving everything about it. So you go away and you go away and everybody's happy. I agree. Uh, yeah, you should get put back. So this can go goodbye for now. Don't need you or you. And you can go right back in there. And everybody's back the way he was. And then we got to get around to making things better with uh, all the stuff. How's wool doing, by the way? Really quite nicely. How's my rat doing out there? It's been a while since I checked on him. Hopefully nobody, like, showed up and killed him. Possible that that happened. I'm now questioning. Nope, he's still there. What's up, little dude? Are you still shearing my sheeps for me? You seem to be. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Look at him go. Good job, little buddy. Okay. Uh, so with that said, let's get ready for Flux Networks, right? So Flux Networks, the, the, the main component of Flux Networks is going to be Flux Dust, which you take redstone, you place a block of obsidian, an air block, and then a piece of bedrock. You left click the obsidian and it'll smush the redstone into flux dust. You can do the same with a flux block, but you can't get flux blocks without flux dust. So first time you do this, you have to go do it 
you know, at Y level negative 64 where there's bedrock, then you can use that to make this and uh, not have to go down to bedrock anymore. So let's get a few stacks of redstone, okay? And a few bits of obsidian, because sometimes the obsidian turns into cobble when you do this, so you want to be prepared, okay? So we're going to pop down to bedrock. Magnet off for now. And that should be cool. I'll meet you down at bedrock. Okay. Um, so, well, not that one. That was a misplacement. Eh, whatever, it's fine. So here, and then redstone goes here, and then you left click. Cool? Easy peasy. How cool is that? Man, you are taking a long time to mine that obsidian. I wonder if you're factoring in the breaking difficulty of bedrock for that map. I don't know. Right? Uh, but you can absolutely do multiple stacks at a time. Aha, and like I said, sometimes it turns into cobble, so be prepared for that. Now that we have flux dust, uh, we should be cool to make all kinds of cool flux networky things, okay? Uh, so it's a good idea to teach a few of these. Like, I like the flux core, uh, and since we're teaching the flux core, we should probably teach eyes of ender. Uh, and then the flux block as well is a good one to have. You want to have pretty much all three of these on autocraft. Everything else is up to you if you want to set up auto crafting for. Uh, but the main things you're going to want is a flux plug and a flux point. Flux plugs take energy from adjacent blocks and add them to the flux network. So that's what we're going to hook onto our capacitor so that the flux network has access to the energy. Flux points will take energy in the flux network and shove it into machines. So things like, you know, all, all the machines that need energy, you'll put a point on. Uh, and then there's a flux controller that lets you do all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, so let's get a flux plug for now. Uh, and I'm just going to like auto craft that, right? And then boom, and then boom. And that should be cool. Okay, so we've got the plug for adjacent blocks. And then I'm going to want the controller. Um, that should be cool. And we're waiting for crafting CPUs to do more crafting CPUs. Okay, uh, but that's going to be your controller. Now Flux um, Networks also has an energy storage system, but I've always found them to be really expensive crafts for not a lot of energy storage. So I've never used them. Uh, but if you wanted to, you can. Like they have their own energy buffers and you can have multiple of them in the network so you can really build up large amounts of storage. But they really are pretty expensive to craft. Maybe I'll play with them this series. Uh, we'll see, okay? So I always throw my flux controller like somewhere in the corner of my base in the ceiling because you don't really need it much. Uh, and when you first set up a network, you have to create a new network. And you, have, you can have multiple networks. I always just go with Direwolf's network for the first one. I usually have multiple networks because I'll have like uh, some, uh, like a generator's network is usually a thing I do uh, and other things. I'll, I won't put any password on it or security because I'm playing in a single player world. And then if I do release world downloads, uh, let me know if you want me to release down world. I haven't been doing that, but I guess I could. Then you'd have access to it, right? Uh, and you can make it whatever color you want. I usually go with blue. Cool. So once that network's created, you have to associate uh, each block with that network. So I've now associated this guy to Daryl 20s network, and that's why he turned blue. And I'll do the same thing over here with a flux plug. I'll stick you on the top, and then I'm going to associate you to Daryl 20s network as well. And now he has access to the energy inside this dude, right? How cool is that? So now he should be able to pull that energy out. Now, one nifty ability of Flex Networks is wireless charging. You can activate which slots uh, to charge from. You can't do your main inventory. That's disabled. I think that's like a config option or something, and it's always disabled. But you can charge anything in your armor, your curios, your hotbar, and your main hand and your offhand. So if I turn that on and hit apply, uh, he should be sending energy into uh, my mining gadget. You'll see my mining gadget charged up, and now he's charging up my porter for me as well. So Flux Networks charging up uh, all my stuff Super cool, very nice, appreciate. It'll also charge up my curios. You can see my this thing got filled up really nicely. Um, this thing doesn't need RF. Uh, that's not RF base, that's not RF base, but yeah, you get the idea. So now Flux Networks is charging all my things, right? And I can use Flux points to connect up, you know, disparate uh, machines. So if I have another machine somewhere that I need to hook up power to, right? I can easily hook it up with a flux point. I would just need to, you know, run over to that machine, put the flux point down and bind it to the network. So I'm sure at some point in the near future, uh, we will we will find a use case for that and it'll save us running a whole bunch of cabling around. Cool? 
good deal. So Flux Network, up and easy, super, super good times. All right, so I'm gonna use the collector from Item Collectors. I did check with Soren, and the collector from Zycraft can't filter, and I want to filter for this. So real quick, I wanna set up Fluix Auto Crafting, right? Uh, so for this to work, we need an advanced item collector from the item collectors mod. Now these are cool in that just like the collector and the hot, like all the other things, right? What it'll do is it'll suck up items and put them in an adjacent inventory, right? So by default, when you're looking at it, it'll show the range. So it's a pretty big range, but if I want to, I can shrink it down, right? I can make it like, you know, really tiny. One by one by one radius. Neat. Uh, and then you can either blacklist or whitelist items, configure whether you want to match MBT, doesn't matter. And then any items that land inside that radius will automatically get vacuumed up and placed into the chest that it's facing. Cool, good times. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to create a quick little auto craft system, right? So what do we got by way of droppers in this, in this pack? Uh, there's that dropper, there's that dropper, there's the dropper from this dude, there's this dropper module, dropper, that one could be cool. Yep, there's the cyclic drop without randomness. It's the precise dropper. Let's try that one and see how it looks. Uh, as long as it can work without needing a redstone trigger. Like I want, like, item goes in, immediately drops. That's what I'm looking for. Um, can you not face down? You can face down, you just are funny. Well, actually, no, you can face different directions, but you can't face down. That's a little annoying. Speaking of annoying, look who's here. My old friend, my old friend, Mr. Annoying. I don't know what that is. There's so many little quality of life things I'd like to be able to do that rarely you can do or sometimes like just don't work super great. One of these days I'm gonna like make like a Dyer's miscellaneous mod and like just little things that I want, random stuff that I think would be cool to have, right? No theme, no like overarching, just like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if this block existed? And that's it. Like, and then and then another block and then it just builds up to Dyer's random stuff mod. Meh, one of these days, one of these days, we'll see. If I get around to it. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna what? Drop without randomness. Requires redstone always on. That's good. Preview off. So, uh, count. I guess that's how frequently, or delay would probably be frequent. Count is how many items go. So like if I gave you that. Oh, and you need power too? Oh, get out of here with your needing power. You're a dropper. You don't need power. What else do we have by way of droppers? Uh, we could do the dropper module from from this dude. Uh, so what we could do is uh, modular routers. You, you, and that's the sender module. How about a puller module? Uh, puller mark one. Okay. Um, how about a puller mark two? Yeah, I could do that one, right? Mark two puller, just so I can bind it, right? And then what we'll have is a chest and then we'll have a dropper and is there like a that's a flinger we'll see what i'll we'll see how this goes uh so i'm thinking like in here right magnet off for a sec would in here be the right place to put this i'm, I'm thinking yeah i'm thinking i'm thinking yeah that would be cool okay so what if we had how are you for channels over here again? Your channel number is three. Yeah, we should be able to pull this off. That should be doable. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, now I don't have to worry about shrink and recharging this thing. Cause this thing has a surprisingly small amount of power buffer. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so cables times like a bunch. I really, really, really need to, next episode or the episode after, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like redo some of my cabling because we are a mess already and we're like barely doing anything and we're already a gigantic mess. Right, but we can modular routers this guy. Okay. 
and you go away. So modular routers will be, uh, and I'm hopefully not gonna run into anything over here. Maybe one more block over. Okay, so we'll have a pattern provider, please. The auto crafting and such. Choo -choo. Okay, and that'll go into a chest. Do I need the chest? I'm gonna say yes, I need the chest. So I'm gonna put the pattern provider here and then we're gonna have a chest and then we're gonna have the modular router. Okay, and you're gonna pull from that inventory and then you're gonna drop her uh, down. Okay, and then we will have a bucket of water. Hey, you're a water bucket, right? Hooray, that works. Right here. Okay, and then we could have, you know, technically I could have you pick up the item, can't I? Isn't there a module for pickup items? Uh, extractor module, breaker module, fast augment pickup delay. Is it called vacuum? Yeah, vacuum module. That's what we would want, right? So I could do you. Control click. Right? So vacuum module. Uh, and you're going to whitelist. What are you doing? Stop doing that. Vacuum module whitelist Fluix crystals. Okay. Okay. And then I want you to um, sender module mark two right into there. And you will also filter whitelist Fluix. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. You ready? Items go in chest. Whatever lands in the chest, maybe that should be a barrel just so I can open it easier. Not exactly what I wanted, but there you go. Cool. All right, so uh, items go in here. This thing's going to pull whatever items land in there, drop it, then vacuum up only Fluix crystals, and then send only Fluix crystals back into the pattern provider. Such that we can now come over here and say making Fluix crystals is done um, like that. Okay, charged redstone nether equals Fluix crystal. So I come down here, put that pattern, which has a device online, so that's cool, okay? And that should be spiffy. Let's see what happens, right? So I'm gonna make sure my magnet's off. And I might need to speed this up, but if I were to say, hey, give me 10 Fluix crystals, how's this gonna play out, right? He's dropping it. He's doing a good job. And I can speed that up a little bit. And then he should vacuum them up and send them right back into the AE system. How cool is that? How cool is that? Okay. Now, if I wanted this to be a little bit faster, um, there are stack upgrades, so you can move stacks at a time, right? And speed upgrades. Sync upgrade, speed upgrades. Right, so if I did this and this, I'm thinking that might be a cool approach, right? So now if I said I wanted Fluix, uh, let's do 20. That's what I'm talking about. How cool is that, right? That is super cool. Um, and let's get some dire glass viewers. What I like to do when I'm doing something like this just in case it in like a little little dude there. And now like in case my magnet's on, it's not gonna be a problem, right? Um, I could do the same. I'm 
I'm gonna need more of those. I could do the same for this, right? So glass. Dire glass viewer. Right, now my magnet shouldn't mess with those anymore, see? Or or I lied. Apparently, ma apparently this magnet doesn't care about blocks being in between you and the thing. Oh well. Oh well. The day we learned. Uh, hey you. Never mind about that. We'll leave this one up though, because because it's cool, right? So magnet on off. So charge go away. Fluix. Let's just make sure that you're still behaving. Uh, and that is automated Fluix crafting using modular routers. Cool. That ain't too shabby. That ain't too shabby. Huh? That works for me. That 100% works for me. And then what I think I'll do uh, is just exchange this up into some fancier looking looking stuff, right? So uh, you, let's make sure that your fuzzy is off. So you're gonna be that, and then just a slightly bigger range, just so you can get all those guys. Okay, and uh, and then you. And fuzzy on for this bit. And then you. And then what I'm going to do actually is. Uh, I don't know if we have to worry about the roof that much. Because what I want to do is just do this. Yeah, that looks cool. What I might do is get rid of these guys. Yes, I like this plan. And then we will uh, build to me with this. Just fill in this roof a little bit, make it look a little nicer in here. Does that look cool? I should do the same thing here. See, I'm trying, I'm trying really hard to make my stuff look a little bit better, guys. I don't know if I'll ever succeed, but I'm trying really hard. That looks good, right? Yeah, that's super cool. All right, wrapping up point. Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We now have Fluix Auto Crafting. We now have uh, Flux Networks. We have all kinds of good stuff. That's super cool. I like modular routers. Such a good mod. Such a good mod for so many good things. All right, for now, Del 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.